Generally speaking, Americans like planning in advance. That's because we tend to have a strong future orientation. And if you've spent some time in the US or around Americans, you might have noticed that we have a penchant for planning. We like planning in advance or sometimes way, way in advance. And while some Americans might prefer to make last minute plans, which is the opposite of planning, that's more of the exception rather than the rule. Because generally speaking, Americans are planners. I didn't fully appreciate this cultural characteristic until I spent time studying and living abroad. For example, When I was living in Paris, we didn't really make plans with my university friends. We would just call each other up more or less last minute and say, hey, are you free? Hey, do you want to do this? And right then and there on the spot, plans were made. But they weren't that far in advance. They were pretty much last minute, day of kind of planning. Making plans far in advance is not uncommon in American culture. So you might be taken by surprise if you're not used to it. And it's really no wonder because many Americans like planning well in advance for trips, for vacations, for birthdays, for parties, other get-togethers, other events that need more time to plan because they involve invites, logistics, and planning around different things in advance. For things like dates, dinners, house parties, dinner parties, and other smaller, less involved types of engagements that require less planning, it's okay to give people one to two weeks of a heads up. And this is no surprise given that the United States is a future-oriented society. Americans are used to planning in advance and they will not be too receptive, generally speaking, to making plans last minute. Of course, again, this is a generalization, culturally speaking, but on average, you'll find more people in the U.S., that tend to look more favorably toward planning rather than spontaneity, where it's a last minute game time decision. Some people might not be invited somewhere until last minute for a few reasons. And this will explain a little bit why they might not be too receptive to that, right? They might feel like someone else was invited instead, but they backed out of the invitation and thus, If they're being invited to that wedding, let's say last minute, they're the replacement. So they might feel like it's too short notice and that they don't have time to get ready or enough time to find a babysitter or a dog sitter or travel plans that they can't really plan accordingly, right? Maybe they have a prior commitment, but this new invitation might be preferable. And had they known sooner, they would have instead committed to this rendezvous. So these are some of the reasons why, generally speaking, last minute invites, especially to things like baby showers, weddings, big, very much involved types of parties, it might come across as like it was a rude thing, meaning why wasn't I first choice and why was I your replacement? Wouldn't you have liked me to come on the original guest list? And nobody really likes to be second choice, do they? Okay, so now that we've laid the cultural groundwork and you have a little bit more background about this type of situation, I'm going to share a few ways that you can make plans in English. All right, so now with part two, making plans in English. Here are some phrases you could use. Should we try that new Italian place next Friday? Do you have any plans this Saturday? Are you free on Thursday after work? There's an 8 p.m. showing of that new movie that we wanted to see, and I wanted to know if you're available. What are your plans for winter break? 
How would you like to come on a ski trip with me and a couple of our friends? We're planning on renting out a ski chalet and it should be really fun. We haven't booked yet, but wanted to know if you're available. What are you up to tomorrow afternoon? Do you want to come to an outdoor concert? I hear it's going to be really fun. Are you doing anything fun this weekend? Do you have any plans for your 30th birthday? Anything exciting planned for summer break? How would you like to come apple picking with us? We're going upstate in two weeks and we can all rent a car and check out a few apple orchards. And then afterwards, maybe we can make some apple pie. Are you free to come to the beach next weekend? My sister's wedding is in a few months. Do you want to be my plus one? Should we plan something really fun for our anniversary this year? What should we plan for our housewarming party? You're so good with party planning. Do you think you could help me plan my cousin's baby shower? It's going to be in the spring, so we have plenty of time. So there it is. We talked about why Americans, generally speaking, love making plans. We also discussed how Americans generally are more future-oriented and that the U.S. is a future-oriented society where last-minute plans are not looked that favorably upon. And lastly, we gave you some phrases to use when making plans. Yes, in advance. Practice those phrases, and when you're ready, make some fun plans. All right, advanced English learners, that's it for me today. I hope that you liked this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. What about you? Do you come from a future-oriented society or a past-oriented society? What has the adjustment process been like for you if you're coming more from a past-oriented society and now living in a future-oriented society that likes to make plans far in advance? Share that with the Advanced English community in the comments down below. And if you want to help our channel continue to grow, be sure to share this lesson and our channel with anyone who you think would really enjoy these types of advanced English lessons. All right, I will see you in the next one where we'll continue advancing your English together. Bye for now.